Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, I made a new film. <laughs> um, I haven't made a film in actually just over a year. That's how intense my last year has been. But I'm just very, very happy that I finally finished it. So, I remade Scorsese's classic short film, The Big Shave. If you haven't watched it, I will link it down below. Maybe pause me now and then go watch it and then come back because this will be important. So I'm going to assume you've all watched it or don't care. I remade that. I can't remember why, but I will explain. I'm going to structure this video in terms of like the idea, the process, and then like my behind the scenes kind of thing. Because I feel like these videos are very useful just even for me to have, so I can look back and go, oh yeah, that's how I did that. Oh yeah, that's how I fixed that. Oh yeah, that was really difficult. Why do I assume that when I finished films, oh, that was easy while I'm doing it. I'm like, why is this always so hard? So for everyone asking me, what are you going to do with your degree? I'm like, this, I make. Films. If you haven't, my film channel is right up there. You can go subscribe. Um, I would really like to this year hit a thousand subscribers on that channel because then I can like monetize it, which would be quite, you know, fun. Kind of hard when I make a film every like six months. So I don't ask you to turn the bell on for this channel, but I will for that channel because you don't know when a film is going to pop up. I don't either. I remade Scorsese's short film. I absolutely adore his films. I think he is a fantastic director and I just like love his films so much. There aren't enough words for me to be like, I love his films. It's also just such a famous short film and so many people have remade it. And so I started watching some of these remakes and then I was just kind of watching them like, I don't like any of the Lighting Strange, I'm sorry. I was watching it like, I don't like any of these remakes. You kind of have two sort of things to the remakes. Or they were almost shot by shot, like, almost like Scorsese fanboys being like, oh, I wanna, I'm just basically gonna go copy this, shot for shot, that's gonna make me a better filmmaker. <laughs> I just, I feel like that's like, what's the point? What is the point? If you remake something, why would you do it shot for shot and do try and do it exactly the same? What does, I feel like that doesn't achieve anything. Or you point it out to one of us that you are not. It's good, that, oh, it's good to go say that is all I feel like that points out um, and there were a couple that like took the idea and then like re sort of remade it a couple of them inflected the gender so they had a woman instead but then what these people but then what <laughs> these remakes have done is they've you know taken a woman to the mirror but then what, are, what does she do she's using makeup she's putting on loads and loads of makeup sort of with the same principle of like, oh, you just keep going and you keep going and you keep going and it's awful and you have a like, meltdown. Um, but like... <laughs> Where's the blood? Where is the blood? I just... The blood gets its own credit at the end. It gets its own credit! Like, that is how central this is to this your film, is there has to be blood. How can you remake it and you don't have any blood? That doesn't make any sense to me. And I also feel like that really, like, okay, you took the concept, but then you kind of seem to have misunderstood the concept in the first place. A lot of people take the meaning of the film sort of almost two ways. People who don't seem to read, like, someone like who doesn't make it to the credits slash reads them. You can look at it as like societal pressures, la, oh, we try to imperfection and it just destroys us in there eventually, which then, uh, like, the, the film that kind of redoes it with the makeup. I'm not gonna, like, link any of these films, but just type in, like, Big Shave. Remake. I think it's a very popular one because Scorsese made it as a student, so I feel like for other film students, it's like, okay, this is like the bar. Let's see what we can do with it. Like, yeah, okay, the makeup ones are like, that's what the meaning of those makeup ones I can take is. But Scorsese's one, the alternative title is Viet 67, so you know, Vietnam War. Um, so a lot of people read it as like a dark sort of, you know, PTSD actually kind of thing, or the way I kind of almost read it is like the, you know, Sending them to die, you may as well kill yourself anyway. It doesn't make any fucking difference. Um, so that's kind of like how I read that film. I also really enjoy it in terms of like, because apparently it was first like lighting and sound segment, which is why there's like, there's no. <laughs> I always mix up diegetic and non diegetic. There's none, there's no, it's only the music that's on top, and that's quite important. And everything is pristine and white. So the lighting is very, I feel like the lighting's well considered. I really like the film. If we're just gonna talk about it for a second. There are some, you can notice some continuity errors, and I love that I notice them because I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> it's not perfection. And that's like, it's a student film, like, that is what it is. You're not going off against 
one of the best filmmakers <laughs> of our time. You are basically, it's like student you versus, not versus, but like student you and student them. Okay, this is worth remaking as a student. I shot all the footage for this back in, I want to say July. It's been a very long time in the making. I say making, I just sort of edited it and then like left it for eight months and now I'm back. So I can't really tell you why I chose this one other than like, it's an iconic short film. I hope people get the reference and don't think that like, oh, we should like commit her or something because clearly did not coping with exam stress well. So I'm not. 100% not the point of the video. Uh, this video, <laughs> all the film. It's also the fact that like the physical parameters of it, it is very simple. I figured out that I could do it on my own and seeing it's the fact that far too many of my films are a one woman show. Do you know how thrilled I am? When I don't need to be in my own films, I'm really looking forward to not having to be in my own films. It's very hard to explain to people that you're actually not a massive narcissist and self-obsessed and self-centered when you have a fucking shrine to yourself. But I'm very excited to not have to be in my films. But I like the little montages that I've done for family and friends and like, the self-portraits, I don't want to be in my own films. <laughs> I don't want to, but I am because I'm the only one I can force into doing what I want to. <laughs> Do you reckon I could have got someone else to be like, right, so we're gonna basically make it look like you're gonna shave your leg until it just bleeds everywhere. Like, <laughs> that did in itself set some difficulties for filming. My idea was I wanted to take Scorsese's film at face value. The idea that essentially that you're shaving, you're shaving, you're shaving, you're shaving, and then there's blood everywhere. That is essentially the core idea that I took. Then what I did was because I feel like the other films where they have like inverted the gender have failed. They, I think they fail to do it justice because there are two in that I have in mind of the ones that I watched on YouTube. So there's a one where the woman with the makeup and I feel like that <laughs> misses the point a lot. <laughs> the point really is largely the blood. That is such... Th how do you miss that? Um, and I feel like it's a, I can't remember the gender of the director, I'm gonna assume it was a bloke, because that is how a guy would reinterpret this film from a woman's point of view, isn't it? Like, that's just how they would do it. Like, ooh, man, I don't want to deal with a girl's blood. Ugh. I wanted to basically remake this in a way that only a woman could. That's what I wanted to do. I guess, yeah, then mine does become like, societal pressures and like, you know, the idea of like playing with femininity. That's why, yes, because Asia is very white set. I could have filmed this in the bathroom here, which is also very like, just completely white, but I don't know about you, but shaving your legs on the sink is just not a fun thing to do. Don't enjoy it. Everything goes everywhere. I actually shave my legs in the shower, fun of that. But I feel like a lot of people do like, you know, side of the bath, that works. I have a bathtub at home. But then everything was like wood and I was like, oh damn. But then I was oh, you know, I've got so much pink crap everywhere. I'm gonna put it all over the room, which I did. So please note, my Fight Club poster in the background. So you can go in the bathroom. It's a film about soap. <laughs> and to an extent, my point is like, look, you can take the same idea, exactly the same idea, but the fact is, depending on your, depending whether you are a girl or a guy, your experience with that is going to be different. And that's like, I was like, look, this is one of the reasons we need more female filmmakers, because even with the same idea, it comes out differently. Like, it's important and you need us. I also just love films. And this is like, because it's like similar enough, but it's different enough. And I feel like I like that. It's the same idea, but it's a completely different meaning. If you want to read your meanings into it, go ahead. It really was just the case of, you want me to shave my legs? Fine, I'll fucking shave my legs! Ta da! Right, that's basically the idea. I'd love to know what Scorsese's thought process doing it was because that's a bit more fucked up than what mine is. Practicalities of this. I film most of my camera on my tripod. This is why this camera is so important. It's for Canon 80D. It has a flip out screen. I can see what I'm doing. I shot like two static shots of me and my leg where it was, which is really useful because there's some bits where my my dumb fucking ass. I'm so annoyed at myself because I will clearly wasn't or I couldn't see it because this camera is really small. This like screen is really small. But I kept holding the blood in shot. Oh my god, I have never been so angry at myself because the camera stood in the same place and it was shot within those, a couple of those shots are like within like literally 30 seconds of each other. I managed to like actually put one shot over the other, crop half of it away so that it was like half and half, half one shot, half another shot or like a little bit of it just to like, to like get my hand out of the way. And like, cause my leg doesn't move, I got away with it. I was like, oh, 
well, this worked. It's like, you know when you try something, like, let's see, I'm like, oh, shit, it works. Because this is one of the reasons why I think it's so important to make, 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 make. Because you only, like, can problem solve shit and, like, you gain experience and get better when you get problems. If you never run into a problem, how are you ever going to get any better? <laughs> you know? You've got to fail a lot to succeed. That's okay. I also do think mine is a bit fun. <laughs> I say so myself. Um, I feel like mine does get the like dark comedic aspect. Some of the other films are very like serious. I'm like, no, guys, it is meant to be. It is meant to be funny. Like it is like it's meant to be dark and it's meant to. It is meant to be funny. At least I think so. The other couple practical things that I ran into was when the fake blood was mixing with the foam, it was going pink. And I was like, fuck. So, so I essentially I should have had like a lot darker fake blood. I actually had like five little tubes of it. I was like, I got it. I was like, this is way too much. It, right, if you're ever gonna use fake blood, you need more than you think you do. 100%, you need more than you think you do. Because if you want it to be dark, it needs to be like, thick. <laughs> thick. So, otherwise, when it gets, like, when it thins out, it looks pink, and that's not the, that, I mean, I thought it was quite funny, because obviously, like, my overall tones were, like, quite pink, but then I was like, oh. It's meant to be more gory than this. See, I did like a couple shots where I was like, just like, just my leg, static, the like one that's further back that you see. And then I used my camera like in one hand and then I was like, sh fake shaving my leg. Actually, my legs are really fucking smooth after this. I just wanna, I, I didn't shave my legs for literally like two and a half months. And then they were so smooth after this. I was literally walking around like, ooh, ooh, wow. Um, <laughs> And practical fact, everyone loves those about films. Yes, yeah, so I was like with my hand, with my camera hand up, like trying to do it, and then like trying to not drop my camera into the porcelain bath. I would have broken. Uh, that would have been bad. Also, I had a time limit. We had a train to catch back to London, so I was like, shit, I need to do this this morning, or I'm not going to do it. So I was really like, <coughs> so that was intense. Interestingly, Mum was the one putting me under pressure to get ready. Interestingly, as well, now Mum was the one who was like, Emma, are you going to finish the film? Finish it tonight. I was like. But I'm on a really difficult bit to sequence and it's all the blood and I don't know if we're gonna do it right. She's like, finish fucking filming, yeah. So thanks mum for making me actually finish it. The other bits that were quite difficult was like, I didn't shoot it in order, but then I kept forgetting what clips I had and obviously like editing something, abandoning it, and then coming back eight months later, you're like, shit, what did I get to? But then it's quite useful because it's like you're editing someone else's film. I was getting so pissed off at myself because at one point you can constantly see my shadow. There's the shot of the bath taps, but I kept putting blood and then not moving my hand away to like, to let it shoot the shot, then be able to like cut progression of the blood building up, which is what I would have wanted to do, but I couldn't because I didn't move my fucking hands. And then when I did for a moment, my shadow would still be there. And it was so frustrating. So I had to take, again, the overlapping thing, cause I, it was a static shot. So I put my camera on my tripod in the bath <laughs> because that wasn't nerve wracking having the water flowing in the, you know, don't wreck my very expensive equipment. Again, overlap and try and like halt one of the shots to then like overlap it and crop crop it and to like stick it over so then like at least yeah there's a shadow but it's not moving um so you don't notice it so that's what I was like okay <laughs> we're getting somewhere um and the other thing is and it really annoys me is because the music is royalty free YouTube music it wasn't the right length to cut to properly which was like a there's a few moments and I hear it I don't know if anyone else is gonna hear it I hear it where the music has to overlap, I have to take two different tracks and like sort of overlap them to keep the music being continuous and there's just a bit, one bit where you just, you notice it and I'm like, oh it drives me in fucking insane and really annoying but like I did the best with what I had, I would have liked to use the original music but I'm just gonna get copyright flagged and I don't want that when I want to try and like actually monetize my film channel. Oh yeah that's another thing is I really wanted to work with fake blood, I think that's one of the motivations as well is I really really wanted to work with fake blood because I'm always looking for ways to improve my practical filmmaking. There's also one bit where you can see that I try and go to shut the bathroom door. That bathroom door does not move. Um, so you can see really obviously it doesn't fucking move. Like, fuck's sake. But yeah, I made a film about my legs. <laughs> I hope also that my girls out there appreciate the fact that I did also do, you know, put a shaving cream on the big toe hair, because that needs to go too. But the only thing maybe that I would have done, I would like to add was, okay, I think a bit more Blood, because in Scorsese's for like actual bleeding shaving bit does last a lot longer. Um, no, I have no way of squirting the blood like that. Like, let's get the, I had no equivalent for that. Um, because I was thinking, yeah, okay, once you, instead of doing the whole makeup, whatever, you, and using my legs and very particularly not putting any of my face in it because it's not really, it's not about me. Then I do lose that. I lose the, you know, mirror reflection kind of thing, the focus on the eyes. I lose that, but I feel like 
it was worth the sacrifice for the point that I wanted to make. And then I guess, you know, you can talk about the fact that because it, you know, not that it anonymizes, but the fact that it depersonalizes and therefore you can, you know, project it onto everyone and all of their feelings. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> I've been ill, so that's why I sound crap. I need to go. Those were like my practical filmmaking things. Because I shot this so long ago, it really did feel like I was editing someone else's film. But I think that's a good thing. I really believe in like, you know, the holistic filmmaking experience. And I think that you really should do everything to understand how everyone is gonna feel. You know, to be able to put yourself into their shoes and to sort of, when you're trying to put everything together, to really be able to think about how someone who does, you know, sound like someone who edits, or like how they're gonna help put your film together. Even being able to at least basically do and at least very much understand how every part of, you know, this machine works. Finally made another film. I have no, I li literally, there's no reason why this should have taken me so long to edit. It just happened. It happened because I had some very heartbreaking news which kicked me in the ass to actually reconsider things and I reconsidered very quickly and I'm very shocked at how over it I am. Um, but yeah, now for all of the behind the scenes things. I'm sure I will just add, you know, text because I can't remember what all of the things were. So, enjoy the behind the scenes. I'm in my mum's car. It's raining. So I'm currently heading into town now because I'm gonna get like just I need the razor heads for the short film thing. This film I think costs max eight pounds, which like just a it's a thing I need to do. You know, I just need to make this for so many reasons. It's all the men's stuff. Oh, look, here's where you get the women's stuff. It's all pink, literally. Why does it have to be it's the same thing? It does the same thing. I feel like a pink razor makes more of a point, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, back in the car. It's so rainy. I got ID'd for buying a razor. The one that I got is pink, so it's like five pounds. But like, why am I being ID'd so I can shave my bloody legs, you know? Okay, so I am on the set. I've basically been like sort of, I don't know, arranging the bathroom. Here I am. Um, I basically put loads of crap on here. As you can see, it's very pink toned. Um, so I kind of like, you know, sort of working with it. The thing with Scorsese is it's all very, you know, white and red, but I, ha I just have to have add the pink in basically. Um, so they're all, you know, pink. I'm basically, something I learned from Georgia, uh, I've turned around any brand names so that that kind of works. Blah, blah, blah. And this is the boy one. You can kind of see the, the point I'm trying to make here. Yeah, it's very... Come on, if you don't get this, you're dumb. You know? You're stupid. I've also moved in this mirror. This is usually in my brother's room because I need, obviously, like, Scorsese works a lot with, like, the mirror in the face and I'm not going to have that. Like, I don't really want my face in it. It's not the point of it. Um, so I'm basically going to come here, check my legs out. Uh, town's pink. Uh, we have a family photo in here, but I've moved... But you know the ones I have in my room, I basically put one of these here. This is my Fight Club poster, but it's got bubbles on it. So, hopefully you'll just see the bubbles in the soap, and if you look closer, you get the reference. Ba -ba -ba. Obviously, this is my one pink toned towel, so all the crap that I've taken out. Here is my tripod. Right, so the thing is though, uh, my brother's broke this door, so I don't know from what angle I'm gonna shoot this, because obviously you can see it's a very white bath an original bar, so I don't know how the fake bloke's gonna work. Got my little set up there, so, right. I basically just have to do this now. I've got the fake blood here. Yep, the more I was watching Scorsese's, the more I was so happy I've got this much, like, oh, let's do something with this. What I've just done is I've gone through the short film and I've actually just like screenshotted loads of the shots so I actually know what I'm doing.
and nothing is stained apart from my hand. Um, my fingers in the way, I know. Basically, I've shot all the like really close up belly shots. Now I'm gonna like shoot the um, first shots coming in and then the leg ones. So let's see. Just flip my t shirt inside out because it's my pride one. So I'm basically just gonna like flip it inside out so you just you only see a white t-shirt oh and again see i like the like white out i think that works really well oh no i've been opening the door the wrong way i've just realized it has to go i have to shut the door i'm I have tidied up and now I have to go catch my train. Oh god, oh god. Oh dear, my stop. So I hope that made some kind of sense. Of course, the film is linked below, it's linked at the end, and I'm sure it's been linked with cards through the film. Please subscribe to my film channel if you haven't already. It would really, really mean so much to me. I really encourage you to watch Scorsese's original and like a lot of his films because they are just great. Yeah, I need to go to class. So, like, subscribe and all the jazz, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.